But have you ever noticed going in to listen, on some days it sounds amazing, and on other days it kind of sounds not very good at all. Now, I've always wondered about this phenomenon. I've experienced it. I dislike it immensely, but I just found a 100% solution to this issue just recently. Debbie was up dancing. We were like, it's back. The magic is back. Uh, this is one of the best products I've ever bought in hi-fi, period, period. So. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I wanna to talk about our systems changing from day to day. And what I mean by that is changing in sound. But have you ever noticed going in to listen, on some days it sounds amazing, and on other days it kinda of sounds not very good at all. I've been dealing with this problem for a long, long time. I've been building two channel systems for 30, 35 years. Um, but over the last, I'd say, seven, eight years, I've noticed this phenomenon really uh, more than I ever have. And that is because when you build a two-channel audio system for serious critical listening, that means you have the speaker set up, you have a room, your seat is in that sweet spot right in the middle to hear the vocals dead center and the instruments floating around you. When you build a system like this, everything in the chain is kind of critical, right? Uh, I have had issues ranging from transformer buzz on certain amps, not all amps, um, where you plug in the amp, you turn it on, and you hear a zzz coming from the amp itself, not the speakers. That is when a transformer buzzes or hums. And this is usually caused by DC on our power lines, right? Uh, some of us have DC on the lines from dimmer switches. Certain things can pollute our lines with DC. Heck, even your neighbor can infect your lines with DC. Uh, and DC on the line will make itself known in the way of transformers buzzing or humming. Now, in some cases, a transformer may de be defective and it might not be DC at all. But I've noticed through here not only the sound of my system changing from day to day, where on some days it's the best I've ever heard, period. On other days, it's one of the worst sounding systems I've ever heard. And I don't understand, and I didn't understand, why this was happening. If you search online, nobody has a definite answer. Some say it's your electrical power, right? And it fluctuates from morning to night, depending on how many people are using things on your line, because we share the lines with neighbors. Other people think it's our mood, uh, our ears. Maybe we're in a happy mood one day and we hear our system in a beautiful way. Maybe we're in a bitter mood one day and we hear it in a negative way. Now, I've always wondered about this phenomenon. I've experienced it. I dislike it immensely, but I just found a 100% solution to this issue just recently. And I'll talk a little bit about it. Now, when I first moved into this home two years ago, and chose this little space as my music room, I noticed some electrical issues right off the bat. Uh, the first system I put in here, a transformer buzzed on an amp. The sound was a little hard, uh, a little thin, a little lean, lacking in bass. I didn't know what was going on. At first, I thought it was the room. Uh, when I made some changes to eliminate that and tried the system in a better room without windows, the sound became even worse. Um, I noticed this grit, this harshness coming from the speakers when I first started to try to build a system in here. And um, I figured it could be the power. Uh, so I went out and I tried an AudioQuest uh, 1200, right? A Niagara 1200, which is the most cost effective power conditioner from AudioQuest. Um, that didn't help with any of the noises coming from certain amps that where the transformer buzzed and it didn't really it might have helped the sound of the system every day but it didn't eliminate those days when it sounded bad i still had the fluctuation with the niagara 1200. Uh, it it made the sound a little snappy or a little more lively it brought protection to my system which i really wanted so I kept that in place for a long while, even though I still experienced the ups and downs of the sound changing from the system. 
I then moved on to an, uh, a PS Audio power plant. I chose the P20 because it was the flagship. I knew no matter what I hooked up in here, the P20 could handle, uh, even if I used amps into the high current outlets. The P20 is a $10,000 retail power regenerator, and it takes the power from your wall and it regenerates all new, fresh, clean power, right? With a nice, uh, there's, there's no noise on the line when the P20 gets done with it. And PS Audio claims it removes DC from the line as well. When I placed that P20 in the system, my system went from sounding pretty good to otherworldly good. All noise was gone. Any of that hash and that roughness from the top end was gone that was smoothed out. The sound stage became wider, the sound became richer and deeper, um, and most of those buzzes in the offending amps were reduced by around 80-85%. There was still a little buzz coming from some of them, um, but it was reduced with the Power Plant 20. Now the Power Plant 20 is something that you leave on 24-7. It's not efficient. It's basically a humongous class AB amplifier. It has a big transformer in there and it's converting your dirty electric into perfect clean power coming out of the power plant. It did amazing things for the sound of my system, but it wasn't perfect. After a few months with it, I realized some amps still had buzz with their transformers and I wasn't sure then at that point if it was transformer issues or DC issues because the power plant 20 is supposed to remove DC from your line. Whether or not it injects more back into the line is something I'm thinking about. I'm not sure. Um, but overall, a very positive experience with the power plant. But I noticed my electric bills going up a little bit for, from leaving it on all the time. Um, so I decided to uh, have some electrical wiring looked at at the house. Um, once we got through with that, we changed out some wiring and I decided I won't need the Power Plant 20 anymore. This should solve the issue. Uh, when the wiring was done, I hooked up the system just to a generic power strip, one I was using two years ago. And it sounded uh, a little brighter, right? A little more alive and electric, right? It sounded totally different from when the P20 was in. Not as refined, but I said, well, I can live with this. I need to recoup some funds for the other work I've done. So I sold my P20, this 105 pound beast. The day I ship it out to the new owner, Debbie and I come in here and we listen. We listen almost nightly in here together now. And we both were listening and I was thinking, this doesn't sound very good at all. It sounds flat, it sounds lean. And there was a loud buzz coming from all of the sudden my Luxman 595 Anniversary Edition, the special edition, right? How could the transformer in the Luxman be buzzing, right? I didn't really notice it when the P20 was there. When I did my first tests, I guess I didn't notice it because it was daytime and there was noise going on. But when you're listening at night, you hear every little wart in your system and I heard the transformer buzzing. Now at this point, I had the 595 plugged direct into the wall outlet and I had the power strip under it powering all of the other gear. The sound was flat, it was a little dead sounding, and uh, Debbie even said, why does it sound so flat? It's not sucking me into the performance tonight. And I said, well, we took that power plan out and I'm afraid that was actually really improving the power so much it made the system sound so much better. But it was too late. I already sold it. I, I'm not going to go out and buy a new power plant and lose all this money. So let me back up a little while. Debbie and I were at uh, Glenn Poor's Audio in Champaign, Illinois, uh, when I bought my Luxman turntable. And while there, the owner, Jeff, was raving about a power purifier that he had that he sold. He was a dealer for. I'm well aware of how dealers work. They try to sell you when they know you're there to buy something. But he was going on and on about this Puritan Audio uh, 156 power purifier. Came with a, a nice cord. Or he had the ultimate set in stock with the ultimate cord. And he said that it was the best power conditioner he's heard. And he carries other brands of power conditioners in the store. 
So he was selling me on this power purifier and I wasn't even really asking about a power product, but he's showing me the demo unit, the power cords, which are floppy and very flexible, very cool. And he swore by this product and these power cables. I told him, well, I'll look into it. And if I sell my P20, maybe I'll come back. Now, the reality was I was trying to sell my P20 for the money to recoup for the work we did. But um, once that P20 was gone, I noticed how the sound of my system suffered greatly. It was not even enjoyable to listen to. It was night and day. Debbie noticed it without me saying a peep. I noticed it instantly. And we listened like this for three nights in a row and it never came back. The sound was uh, flatter, leaner, harsher, harder, and it was just uninvolving without that P20. It, you know, you heard the phrase, you don't know what you got until it's gone. At that point, I knew what I had in the P20 and I was getting a little sad about it because I knew there was no way I was getting another one, right? But then I thought back to that visit in the shop and I said, you know what? I'm going to go try this because there was a week trial period where if it didn't do, it wasn't as good as I was told I could get my full money back, no restock fee, uh, any of that stuff. So I went back up to Glenn Poor's Audio. Debbie and I took a drive. It's a couple hours from us, but I bought the Puritan Audio uh, 156 power purifier. It came with the ultimate power cord. Now this is not a cheap unit. The retail is $3,300 for a new inbox uh, at a dealer if your dealer doesn't give you a discount. Now I didn't get a discount. I'm a new customer over there. But I said if this fixes the transformer buzzing, if it fixes the sound quality, it will be worth its weight in gold. And if not, I'll bring it right back and get a refund. Came home plugged in the Puritan Audio 156 with that beautiful ultimate power cable. I've never seen a power cable like this, but I read on forums where people compared this $800 power cable to a $8,000 power cable and preferred the $800 Puritan Audio. Plug everything in. First thing I notice is the amp is completely silent silent, zero buzz, zero hum coming from the Luxman. I pull out a couple of other amps, plug them in, silent. Now these are amps that had an issue with transformer buzz before. Silent with the Puritan audio in the system. So that tells me it's not the amps, it is the electric, the power, the quality of the power coming from my wall. So that was the first thing I noticed. I set everything up, plugged everything, amp and all, into the Puritan. has six outlets on the back. It has a grounding point if you want to ground it to a rod outside of your house to improve the noise floor uh, even further. So Debbie comes in. It's evening. We dim the lights. We turn it on. And I said, well, if it still sounds flat, dead, and broken, we're going to take this back uh, tomorrow and get our money back. What happened was not only was the sound fully back, as in when I had the P20 in the system, um, there was seemingly an even lower noise floor. The way the music emerged from complete blackness was truly like I've never heard before. The sound was different from when the P20 was in. The P20 offered a big, wide, expansive a uh, uh, warm sounding, uh, dense presentation. It actually created more warmth with the power it was regenerating in my system. With the Puritan, the warmth is not really there, but the bass comes back in the mids and the lower bass and the treble is extended. Um, but what this does, it sounds a little more detailed and a little more airy, right? Versus the P20. Now, the Puritan sound, with, with the Puritan in the system, the sound improved tenfold from without it. This is the first power conditioner, uh, power purifier that I've had in here. I'm not talking about regenerators. This is the first power purifier slash conditioner I've ever had where the difference is absolute night and day in my system. But remember, this will only be a night and day if you have power issues. 
And I believe there are many of you out there that have power issues and you might not even realize it. Uh, here's what I discovered, how to find out if your audio system or you might have a power issue. Does your system change uh, from day to day or hour, morning to night, say? Does your system sound better at night or in the morning than it does at other times? Uh, does your system sound great one day and the next day a little lackluster, right? Do you have any transformer buzz or hum? Even if you put your ear up to the amp, are you hearing buzz or hum from the transformer? Uh, those two things are usually an indicator that your power is not up to par uh, in your home. And again, the Puritan Audio Purifier, the 156, I've never heard any power conditioner like this. It literally brought the full magic back to my system and then some, right? So even paying full retail as I did for the Puritan product, I paid $3,300 plus tax and uh, even paying full price for it, it is so worth it for me and what it did for this system. It brought everything back. It made it a little bit better in my opinion uh, the system, once again, sounds the same no matter when I turn it on. And all of the amps I had with the transformer buzz, they are completely dead silent. Now, I bought the Puritan 156 with the ultimate power cord upgrade because that's all that was in stock. But I am thrilled that that's all they had in stock because I was about to buy the lower cost with the, the smaller power cord. But everything I've read and been told is that ultimate power cord really ups the performance of the 156. So I can highly, highly, highly recommend the Puritan Audio 156 conditioner. I don't care what you think about power. If you think it's all snake oil or hooey fooey, it is absolutely not if you have a power problem in your home. This thing is the first piece that solved my power issues 100% uh, and the sound from my system, even with the amp plugged into the Puritan, is the best I've ever heard it in this room. We had an amazing listening session last night. Debbie was up dancing. We were like, it's back, the magic is back. So uh, power uh, does make a difference in your high-end audio systems if you set them up for critical listening. Now, if you just have a party system you jam when people are over, none of this really matters. But if you're listening critically and you like to hear the details, the imaging, the performance, if you like to go within that recording when you're listening, your power is extremely important. Do not overlook it. Before I go, I'll read some of the things that Puritan says the 156 does. Rebalances your AC Synwave, removing all DC components. This enables transformers to work silently at their very maximum, realizing their full dynamics and power range. I found this to be absolutely true. No noise or buzz coming from any of the amps that were buzzing and humming, even with the P20 in place. Uh, multiple Cumulative, sympathetically tuned stages of purification, 58 independent elements, removes both common and differential modes of interference. Six independently filtered 15 amp outlets, each with independent refilter stages for common and differential mode disturbances. This avoids cross-contamination between connected equipment. That's very important to have that. Um, Maximum power routing to all outputs realizes full dynamic performance. So you don't have certain uh, outlets that say high current. They're all going to be high current. They're all going to let that current through. Um, massive 9,000 amps rating of three-dimensional non-sacrificial surge protection guards your equipment against lightning damage, etc. Very important. Star Earth Plan avoids hum loops, re reduces the noise floor for greater silence and definition. Cleansed Earth removes noise from the Earth line, further enhancing clarity and dynamics. Internal wiring, silver plated, OFC copper, PTFE insulation, 
electrically and magnetically shield casing. And uh, it has a IEC type C20 input, but it does come with either the classic or the ultimate cord. And there's a five year warranty on the product. So this is by Puritan Audio Laboratories. This is a beautiful piece. It's called the Puritan Studio Master, uh, the PSM 156 Studio Master. Beautiful, beautiful piece that lives up to what it promises. Now, before that, before I got the Puritan, I did try a couple of other things for the DC on my line. One of them was by Isotech. It's called a Synchro. And it's a little black box that originally sold, I think, for about a grand or 900 bucks. I bought this on clearance for $299. It removed some of the transformer hum, uh, but maybe half of it. So that's what this is supposed to do. It's supposed to remove DC from your line. So I would say it was minimally, moderately effective at doing so, but not fully effective. I also tried uh, a budget. DC blocker from Emotiva, the CMX2. A lot of people swear by this and it has helped a lot of people's systems, but it did absolutely nothing for the buzz in the transformers of the amps I have here that had that issue. So that's why I thought it was really a transformer issue. But when the Luxman started doing it, I said, there's no way it has to be something else. But this really didn't help my problem. It wasn't until the Puritan that those buzzes and noises completely vanished from the system. So I hope you enjoy this. I can highly recommend the Puritan Audio PSM 156. If you have a dealer that sells one near you, do go get an audition. Some dealers will let you take it home and try it in your system. I think you, uh, most dealers will offer a, a trial or a demo to make sure um, but that's the only way to find out if it will benefit you uh, and your power situation. But uh, this is one of the best products I've ever bought in hi-fi, period. Period. So I dig it. I love it. I hope you do too. And I will see you guys next time I have some reviews on the way. I'll see you then. Bye.